We're here for another year of what is referred to as the Battle of the Badges. Um, I'm glad to see that there is a fire department here in Nashville. <laughs> Uh, we've been in this battle for several years, and um, just to kind of put that in perspective, uh, since 2009, uh, the Sheriff's Office has donated more than 60% of the blood that's been taken in through the Battle of the Badges, uh, and we've won every year uh, except last year. And Sheriff, hold on for a second. I have a media position warrant that has been issued against the Metropolitan Police Department Chief Anderson. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Black. Uh, this says that uh, we're summoned to take possession of uh, the Battle of the Badges plaque, valued over $100. Uh, the possession came because it was attained through fraudulent acts. <laughs> <laughs> it is to be returned to the rightful owner, and I'll be happy to take that with me as we leave. <laughs> I might hope that uh, we'll serve that warrant just as soon as I get around to it. <laughs> <laughs> We've worked hard at reducing the response time of the police department, and, and we hope that they'll quickly respond to our writ of possession. We do have a judge's signature as well. Uh, hopefully we can take possession of the, the shiny thing. It's all in the room somewhere, so we'll, uh, we'll continue to work on that. Um, just for fun, the, the Sheriff's Office does represent about 22% of the badges in Nashville. The fire Department some 29%, and that other group represents 49% uh, of our badges. But truthfully, uh, the whole issue about giving blood is, is not a laughing matter. We, uh, we live every day, uh, most of us, in the, in the potential and the issues that we deal with uh, make us realize more than most uh, the need for, for blood and the supply of blood. Here in Nashville, and uh, and this is not a good time, and quite frankly, the need uh, for blood here in Nashville uh, over the past month here, uh, the, the Red Cross is out of 50,000 fewer donors than this time last year. It's a lot of blood, a lot of people. Uh, for the record, we uh, we have our own secret way of starting this competition last week, and uh, we uh, I can at least tell you that I've given mine already in case. The chief has some emergency meeting that he makes us go to, but we can't give blood. If you don't know, last year they scheduled meetings uh, to make sure that their employees could, could be there. Um, we thought of a lot of ways that we could bend the rules, and we're doing everything we can to ensure that we increase our, our, our output this year as it relates to the sheriff's office. We're asking our employees, uh, the public in general, uh, anyone, to come and give blood on the 19th at LP Field here. We think it's a fun way to have competition, but in the end, there's a whole lot of lives that can be saved and a whole lot of good that we can all do. Uh, it's really important that you come out. We want you to give it in the name of the Sheriff's Office. You get to pick your own badge to, to be represented, and we're the only ones who have been here every year, and uh, the only ones who haven't stolen the badge. And um, so we ask that you go to those you can trust, uh, those that you see here every year, and make sure that that's the Davidson County Sheriff's Office. I will. Uh, now I'll turn it over and I will leave his warrant here for him to uh, our Chief of Police, Mr. Steve Anderson. <laughs> thank you, thank you. As uh, Sheriff Hollis noted, this is a fun and friendly competition amongst those of us that wear badges. So all the trash talking you hear today uh, between the Sheriff's Department, Police Department, and the Fire Department that we're saying here publicly it's things we generally say in private to each other. <laughs> <laughs> but the public needs to know that, that we all work well together, and this is friendly competition, but it is serious. And those meetings you talked about we schedule, that's called planning ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Try that sometime. <laughs> Seriously, the Red Cross reports to us that there are a thousand units below what they need for this time of year, so it's time for all of us to join in. And public, people that wear the badges in the Metropolitan Government, all the Metropolitan Government employees, and all, uh, all of national citizens. Pick which team you want to be on. Uh, pick which team that uh, you like the police department better, the fire department better, or the sheriff's department. <laughs>
<laughs> but the need for blood is real. Obviously, uh, vehicle wrecks, uh, other accidents, uh, illnesses call for the need for blood for all of national citizens. Certainly, any of us in this line of work, police, fire, or the sheriff's department, uh, we have employees injured, and they're always in the need of blood. So I invite the public to join us in this competition. As you come in, register again which department you want to be associated with, police, fire, or sheriff. It's friendly competition. Uh, please join us. Uh, Sheriff Hall uh, last year gave it a good try, but we understand that he's got a captive audience down there, and we didn't recognize a lot of people that come in. <laughs> this year, we're doing things a little bit different. Uh, we may be not bringing you as many guests as you <laughs> uh, until after this competition is done. But that said, uh, thank you for the opportunity to be involved in this. Uh, we take this serious, uh, and we want the public to take it serious. That said, uh, Chief White from the Fire Department. Chief White. Before I get into my version of smack talk, I want to reemphasize a couple of things that's already said. This is for the common good. Now, uh, a lot of people don't understand about blood donation. But one donation can save up to three lives. That's a one to three ratio. You won't get that in bank interest rates, you won't get that in investments or anything like that. This is something we can invest in human life to really make a difference. The people in the fire department as well as law enforcement, you understand, we see people in need of these items, of this, uh, this commodity at least, uh, every day. And uh, even though I'm not going to be able to allow anybody that's working on duty and field operations that day, which obviously makes us come in a little bit short on the front end of it, I'm hoping that we can uh, really put the onus out on the people that are going to be off duty, get down there and give blood. And once again, uh, if you like the fire department, if you like to give blood, or if you feel the need to, and hopefully all of you feel the need to, come down there and sign up for whichever respective department. Now getting back to the smack talk, <laughs> it's been said in the past that uh, Sheriff Hall uh, mentioned the fact at one point in time that uh, if he cut his little finger, the blood that came out of that cut was more than what the fire department was. <laughs> we got a little bit different mindset nowadays. In the past, we always dealt with quality and not quantity. <laughs> that we can achieve both the qualitative aspect of it as well as the quantitative aspect. Now, in reference to the police department, in the past they've given more blood than us. This usually happens during the Guns and Hoses hockey games. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes in my hand for a hockey, a hockey game, and on those nights, the police donate more than their fair share. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for a touche here. <laughs> Once again, uh, we joke about this stuff. We all believe in this. And if, you know, if we get up here and cut up with each other and poke a little fun at each other and get public interest involved in it, well, so be it. That's a good way to do it. We're all in the same boat. We're all uh, public servants and work for public safety. And uh, I really don't care who wins as long as we get a heck of a lot more blood this year than we got last year. I don't know how to follow all this up, to be honest. <laughs> Um, just a little bit about as if we um, don't ask our police and fire departments to do what they do each and every day and to step up. We are just so honored to be able to be partnered with you all this week, um, this coming Friday, in this event. Now, I will say this, though, and this was not part of um, the notes that Regina wrote me, but is there anybody from LP Field Security here in the room? Okay, if not, keep those cameras rolling as I walk out later today with the Battle of the Badges trophy, <laughs> please. So, um, this only trophy goes to the individual who collects the most units of blood that day 
on Friday, this coming Friday, July 19th. And with that being said, they also get a full year's bragging rights about being the best of the best badges here in Davidson County. And it definitely is what I would consider a friendly competition, to say the least. <laughs> but we definitely would love for individuals to come out and give blood that day. Um, you can register and make an appointment by going to 1-800-RED-CROSS or redcrossblood.org and actually log on um, for an appointment for um, Davidson, the sponsor code is Davidson, B-O-B, -B, Battle of the Badges. And it's just amazing about the support that comes out of these departments here in Davidson County. Um, in fact, last year, we had planned on collecting from these three groups 174 units of blood. That was our plan. We actually ended up collecting 356 units of life-saving blood. That's what about unbelievable. The so, um, just because of this alone, and this is unheard of the American Red Cross to do this, but on Friday at LP Field alone, we have the ability to take near 500 individuals. Um, and that's like our capacity. Now, Pam here, Pam, stand up just for a second here, Pam. She wanted to come up and speak, but others said, no, no, no. Um, she had mentioned her ultimate goal at some point at some year would be 520. So we might be a little short this year, here and there, but our actual goal this year is 346. Um, but we do have the ability to handle a little bit more, and with the rivalry that we have up here this morning, um, that might actually be the case. So we appreciate everything that you all do, that's for sure. And each and every unit does make a difference in our community. And as Whit mentioned earlier, we are in critical low supply here within Tennessee Valley region. We service 58 hospitals, and each and every day the need is just unbelievable. And blood doesn't last forever, that's for sure. So every unit collected, we can almost assure in the next couple of days it will actually be in somebody. So that makes a huge difference across the table. So we appreciate each and every one of you, what you do each day, not only for collecting units of blood, but also doing your job and securing and making sure Davidson County is as safe as possible for every resident in this community. So thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Um, without further ado, we'd like to open it up for questions, maybe not from the front row, but maybe the back. <laughs> so, very good. Thank you. Any questions at all? Yes. I have a question for um, What happens when you run out of blood? What happens when we run out of blood? Yes, that is a possibility. Unfortunately, what occurs and happens is um, we may ask the hospitals not to do surgeries. And it has come to point years ago that elective surgeries have to, had to be canceled and different things like that. Um, that's the reason why last Monday we went into appeal to this community saying we are to that point that if we weren't collecting above what we were expecting to collect, we would have to maybe look at canceling of elective surgeries. At this point in time, we have not had that occur and happen, but it is something that's always looming. And summer is always the toughest time to collect blood. Many individuals go out on vacations, um, go out of town, and they just aren't thinking of those units or those patients in the hospital. And believe it or not, the same amount of patients are in the hospital right now is what you see in December and November and October. So it's consistent across the board. I, I don't know if we're taking anyone from anybody now. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, you are taking walk-ins, right, if they don't have appointments? Yes, ma'am. Appointments will be a priority, and we'll take those first. So we encourage individuals to make an appointment. Um, but outside of that is, yes, walk-ins are also encouraged the day of the drive. And we will say this, those walk-ins can vote just like everybody else can, that's for sure. Now, did we talk about the incentives that are going on that day besides the badge? I might mention that real quick, that every donation, they will receive a specially designed t-shirt just for this event alone. So we appreciate what everybody's been able to do, and that's what will be available. Along that line, 
um, free Chick-fil-A sandwich coupons, and you'll be entered into hourly drawings for Tennessee Titan tickets. Just a perfect event to have here at LP Field, that's for sure. They kick off their wonderful season that they're going to have um, with their new quarterback ready and set to go. Good. Anything else? Good. Regina's telling me to get off the stage. <laughs> so with that, without further ado, thank you all very much for coming out and participating. I will say this, there is a great shot outdoors in the parking lot with all these um, cruisers and um, fire department trucks out and available too. So it might be a nice shot for the camera crews to get. Again, thank you all for all your support and coming out here today. Thank you.